Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got something slightly different for you. I'm going to do my first catch, cook, and eat video. So I went out fishing yesterday with my buddy Pablo on the do, and um, you know we had a relatively successful day. We did catch one species that I catch all the time. I've just never decided to keep one because I really thought it wasn't an edible fish. Well, this time I decided to keep one, came home, did some research, and sure enough, there were a couple of recipes that I found on how to prepare this fish. So this episode, I'm going to take you through the entire process of filleting, preparing this fish, and we're going to basically create a Jack Crevel salad. This is very much like a tuna salad, just using the Jack Crevel instead. And I'll tell you, I was very surprised by the result. So stick with me. I think you'll be surprised as well. Look like I'm getting attacked, so. All right, fish on. And I got I got the same, whatever you had. You have a heavier rod. Let's see, what do we got? Jack. Is it? Yeah. Here, here. There we go. Nice Jack Crevel. There you nice go, one. guys. Nice little Jack Crevel. Yeah, beautiful. Jack time. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that short clip of the moment when I caught this particular Jack. Had a great day uh, with Pablo, and uh, I'll be turning that footage into a separate video. Uh, but now uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through the process of filleting the Jack, uh, trying to harvest as much of the meat as possible, getting it clean, cleaning the bloodline, and, uh, and then we'll, we'll go from there to the cooking process. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, uh, like a typical fillet, you're gonna cut across the back here. Then you're gonna follow the lateral line. And then down through here, you wanna leave the, uh, the organ cavity alone. Basically you're gonna get a chunk of meat, this triangular piece right here of meat, and then you're gonna get the whole top loin basically of meat. Again, leaving the uh, organ cavity alone. So uh, here you go. Now that we've got our two uh, big fillets and the small pieces, as you can see, I harvested the top section, this section down here, and then I also was able to take a nice chunk of meat from above, uh, just outside the rib cage, without getting into the organs. So that's uh, those are these extra chunks right here. So the meat is uh, it almost looks like a tuna. Uh, it's very nice, very meaty fish, even for a small one. So now the next thing is to take the skin out. All 
All right guys, for the next step of the process, we've moved to the stove. We're starting to boil some water, put some salt in here. Once the water is boiling at a good boil, we're gonna take the pieces of jack, we're gonna drop them in here for six minutes. And you're gonna see as soon as that uh, fish hits the boiling water, it's gonna turn white as could be. And you're just gonna cook that there uh, for six minutes. Now it's still nice and warm and easy to break apart. We're just gonna rip it apart like you would uh, tuna fish. We're gonna let it cool and then we'll refrigerate it until tomorrow. Hey guys, it's now the next day and we've got our Jack Crevel ready to go. Now we're gonna add some um, mayonnaise to your liking. Also some dill pickles, some pepper, some sea salt. And for this amount of Jack, I'll use half of a yellow onion, finely chopped. Mix it all together and that'll be it. Put it back in the fridge, uh, probably let it sit and it'll absorb all these delicious flavors. So imagine all of this meat from one small jack. And uh, today you guys get a chance to taste this. Uh, you're gonna be surprised you haven't been doing this uh, before because it is absolutely delicious. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me prepare this sandwich. I'm certainly uh, eager to take a bite and eat it. Uh, I'll tell you from previous experience, this is, uh, it's really delicious. Anyway, without any further ado, I'm sure the last thing you wanna do is watch me eat, so I'm gonna sign off now. I wanna thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's the first time I do uh, catch and cook certainly got a lot to learn about how to do these videos so please uh, do me a huge favor comment below tell me what maybe you liked what you didn't like what I should do differently thanks for watching as usual and stay tuned for, for more to come <laughs>